are not doing a good enough job of anticipating the use of these organochlorine compounds. It's no secret staying hydrated, especially when it's hot out, can be life-saving, which is why findings from a new study recently released by the U.S. Geological Survey are raising eyebrows. The more we look, the more we find. In this first of its kind nationwide study, researchers found that drinking water from nearly half of the faucets across the United States contains, quote, forever chemicals, also known as PFAS. It does not break down in the environment. It does not break down in humans. Um, it is a concern for all of us, and we are just not handling these compounds properly. Dr. John Hartig is an international scholar whose life's work is dedicated to environmental research, including water. Dr. Hartig says this new study is proof that society has a long way to go, and we need to start by getting off this environmental crisis roller coaster. We had, in 1948, the mass of oil spill on the Detroit River that killed 11,000 ducks and geese. And then we had, in the 60s, DDT. And then we had the ban it. And in 69, we had the Rouge River fire. And in 1970, we had the mercury crisis that had to shut down all the fishery in, in our region. And of course, the water crisis in Flint. When you're producing products, whether it's a plastic product or something like that, what are the input products, yeah. how toxic are they, they can model that and look at the long-term consequences. Now, according to the report, samples were taken from taps at 716 locations, including 447 that rely on public supplies and nearly 270 using private wells. Of those samplings, 75% of Michiganders drinking water was covered. So the bottom line here is, is our water safe? The state's Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy, also known as EGLE, released this statement, saying in part, quote, we learned that 90% of the state's public supplies were non-detect for PFOS using an EPA-approved testing methodology. So in short, yes, our water is safe to drink, but again, it never hurts to be precautious. You can have a Brita in your fridge. You can also add one. Um, you can also talk to um, your local water supplier, you know, uh, Great Lakes Water Authority, and what are they doing to filter out these, these compounds? Liz Lewin, Fox 2 News.